Its roots go back to the late 1700s. Now its charm and small town feel are being revitalized even more. Ready for a family trip? Try Loudoun, Tennessee. Going My Way, hosted by Alan Williams, sponsored by North Knox Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Secret City Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. The minute you hit the town of Loudoun, Tennessee, you sense a feeling of pride and a lot of history, a lot like Mayberry. I mean, to me, Loudoun's all about the people. Um, I think that's what makes it, you know, what it is, the, the hometown feel, which, you know, the buildings and things like that add to it. But I think what really hits home to me is the people. Tommy's Grill is a staple here. The push, however, is to bring even more folks to shop, eat, and live downtown. And it's working. Loudoun is developing its waterfront with a 40 million 150 unit housing complex with a Charleston feel, complete with walking trails and parks. There's a new loco drive-in and plenty of history to soak in. This town was known as Blair's Ferry back in the 1790s. Uh, the Cherokees lived on this side, the south side of the Tennessee River, uh, and the settlers started coming in from up around Jonesboro and Virginia. Uh, in the 1780s, 1790s, settling there, and there was a ferry. Uh, the ferry was actually operated by James Blair, the first to arrive on the north side of the river. It was operated on the south side by Pathkiller, the Cherokee Indian chieftain, and they each collected tolls on either side. The Bear family still has one of their original Bibles. I tell and, you, uh, you really do have to get warm. glasses to read that one. Uh, indeed, indeed. It's, uh, Wow. And I actually have Dr. James Blair's spectacles. It was the mid-1800s that really put the town on the map as a rail route. When the railroad ended here, coming from Georgia, uh, at the river, they had to turn the engines around and send them back. So all of a sudden, all that traffic had to get off the train and get on boats going north and south from Chattanooga and Knoxville. So the steamboat trade, the, the cargo uh, flatboat trade, grew like leaps and bounds. We were the growing faster in the 1850s than Atlanta or Knoxville. That only lasted a few years until they built the railroad bridge. And in the meantime, Blair's Ferry changed to Loudoun after the Earl of Loudoun. The nearby fort and park can be visited any day of the week. Also, the historic courthouse is under renovation. The Cumberland Presbyterian Church is also historic. There's a self-guided walking tour and the Appalachian Quilt Tour. Less than 30 minutes from Knoxville, it's a gem of a getaway. And I think most people just feel at home when they get here. Going my way, I'm Alan Williams. Here at North Knox Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we have a ginormous quantity of new Jeeps, Ram trucks, over 270 in stock. But we've got quality too, like this new Ram 1500 for only $16 a day during the Make This the Summer event. We have over 72 new Gladiators and 42 Ram trucks only for $1 down. All these beautiful trucks come with family plan pricing and that's what I call quality. Whether it's quality or quality you're looking for, North Knoxville Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has it. Yo, Joseph, I don't know what's hotter outside the tent or these deals on these new Jeeps and Ram trucks. That is a tough one. I bet you can fry an egg on one of these new Jeeps. Oh, no, wait, are you serious? I gotta know. Not gonna let you smash an egg on this beautiful 2022 Jeep Wrangler. Fine, then. Clean up on all five. The deals are heating up during the Make This the Summer event, like this new 2022 Jeep Wrangler for just $12 a day with a no-cost lifetime warranty. Secret City, Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram at Oak Ridge.